And um, okay, I cooked up a ton of uh, tuna. I mean, wait, d trout and salmon <laughs> that I fished at the Shiloh Village. Uh, where is it? There we go. So that got me 60 fishing and 56 cooking. So that's to kick off week three. All right, so I'm actually one level off of 1,400 total. All right, I'm going to go to Draenor Village, chop some trees, do some probably fletching. I mean, I could do fire making, but eh, I'll just go fletching. Because I want to be able to fletch my own uh, decent wand in Demonheim, or maybe even staff. So that I, I, guess I can actually do mage damage because uh, the, the, I'm at the level of dungeon ring that I need to get to a uh, necro lord, which is a boss that requires me to either mage or range, and I don't at the moment have a decent mage weapon or an, an or uh, access to one. So kind of want a mage weapon because my range sucks, which I'll get up eventually this week too. All right, this should be 47 fletching, which is good for now. I'll probably go back and do this a bit later, but uh, now I want to go do some Slayer. A lot more Slayer, so time for Slayer again. Wait, no, oh, I don't want to do Slayer yet because I want two more crafting levels, which means I can uh, make a crafting potion to uh, boost up to make the blue dragon hide chaps I need for a clue. So I'm going to do two crafting levels, which is probably going to take forever at the cows. I'll probably, yeah, let's make a bunch of infernal urns, actually. So I'm going to make a bunch of infernal urns, and uh, hopefully get 65 crafting, uh, not too slowly. I guess I'll quickly go over the uh, method I'm using to make my urns. This is about 20k crafting XP per hour, and I get tons of uh, infernal urns, which I'll be using a lot during Slayer. And yeah, I get decent crafting XP for my level, and a lot of... Uh, of urns that I'll be using later on. I'm probably also going to make some strong wood cutting urns and uh, mining urns as well, which are going to be helpful in training those skills. So yeah, first of all I fill up my inventory with clay. Then I run a bit north into Barbarian Village and use the clay on the well. Then go into the uh, pottery building thingy in here. Gotta select prayer urns every time, which is kind of annoying. Then I turn these all into unfired infernal urns, I fire them, and then I run all the way east to the Varrock West Bank and bank all the urns. So this is the fastest method I have unlocked right now for making these urns, I think. But uh, if I do the Falad Falador hard task set, I can unlock a deposit box in the crafting guild, which is going to be a lot faster for making urns. So I'll probably do that um, when I do the, the Falador hard tasks, which requires 56 summoning, so that's not going to be for a while, but uh, 69 urns, <laughs> urns in there at the moment. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do this until 65 crafting, should take a few hours, eh, it's going to take forever, but uh, I'll, I'll have a ton of urns for slayer and woodcutting and mining. Alright, this should just about be 65 crafting, and uh, you know, I can't really do anything with the 65 alone, but now I can just use a crafting potion, which takes a uh, wergali, wergali herb or whatever, however you call it, and a uh, frog spawn, which I already have. I have a frog spawn in the bank, but I need to go to the agility arena to get a uh, grimy wergali. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to get that otherwise, so yeah. Well, that took a while, and I got a runeful hummet from Jellies. Filled up my inventory with loot. But um, yeah, I should be able to do my clue now. Hopefully I don't get a uh, clue I can't do right after the one I spent all this time getting the stuff for, so good luck. Okay, this one requires me to do, or at least start the rum deal. Uh, <laughs> has quite a bit of requirement, but I think I can do it. I'll need to do both the rum deals, auger flesh eaters, and something else? No, just auger flesh eaters, okay. So yeah, I guess I'm doing a bit more questing. Alright, Zogger Flesh Eater's done. Do I get any levels? No? Ah, well. Alright, on to Rum Deal. Alright, Rum Deal done. I think I get, yeah, farming level off that. Awesome. 45 farming, not bad. Ooh, Grim Tales, Maple Tree. Yeah, alright. And then next clue is just somewhere in the uh, Fremnic Providence, so we'll go there now. And hopefully I can finish this clue without having to do any more quests. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. A rune hatchet? <laughs> Ugh. I, I have a ring of life, and I can, yeah, I think I have 
Mithra plate lesnik, I can always get some pretty easily anyway. But a rune hatchet. I'm gonna have to get a rune hatchet. I guess it's off to steel dragons, um unless there's something else that's easier to kill or something. Okay, I got 52 prayer already here. This is a pretty good uh, prayer and combat XP, I guess. Just gonna camp here until I get a rune hatchet drop, which might take a while, because it's an uncommon drop. Oh boy. Didn't want to hit that guy, so I'm gonna surge away. Hopefully the uh, iron... Dra oh, get wrong direction of the surge. Hate that. But this dragon breath does not hit very high at all, and if I just stay out of melee range, I can just uh, tank through this dragon breath, and it's uh, pretty dang easy. So, yeah, I can't, I can't have to go so far away. I'm just gonna kill him, it's fine. So yeah, I'm gonna be, probably be here a while. Alright, so I managed to fill up my inventory, basically. So, uh, yeah, these are not as hard as I thought they would be. Even with, like, a level 50, you know, crappy bat wand, I'm hitting enough to be able to basically survive without food. Um, I mean, I'm using my abilities. I actually pulled off uh, Immortality at one point, got a, basically a free uh, 2.4k heal off that, but it was pretty risky. But, um, yeah, Steel Dragons are not that hard, so I guess I'll be uh, pretty easily camping these until I get a Rune Hatchet, which is still going to be a while. This is a Rune Battle Axe, by the way. It gave me quite the startle when I saw it on the ground, and I was like, oh, Rune Hatchet, oh my god, and it was just a Rune Battle Axe. So that kind of sucks, but, uh, yeah, should be here a while still for the Rune Hatchet. Is this lucky or unlucky? <laughs> Just got a dragon plate skirt drop. I'm here for a rune hatchet, not a dragon plate skirt. God. <laughs> what the crap is this? 194 Addy Ore from the rare drop table, and I have yet to get a freaking rune hatchet drop. Ugh. So anyway, I've switched over to using water spells is way more accurate, and I'm still gonna be here for probably a few more hours trying to grind out this stupid rune hatchet. But once I have it, it's a rune hatchet that I can use on woodcutting and probably finish this clue. <laughs> but seriously, how rare is this thing that I get all the- It's supposed to be an uncommon drop. Why is it so not here yet? I'm so unlucky, but lucky at the same time as I got this- <sighs> Nature talisman, really? Stop it! 70 mage. <laughs> I started here at like, what, 67 mage? And I got all the way to 70 mage, getting close to 54 prayer, and I almost have a mill cash stack from alking all these drops, and I still haven't got a rune hatchet. 163 big bones drop, another rare drop table drop that I guess I could use for prayer, but still, I'd much prefer the rune hatchet. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, the drop after the big bones, I get a dragon dagger. I guess that saves me 30k when I buy him when I get a 60 attack, but seriously, ser a dragon dagger? I still haven't gotten the freaking rune hatchet, this is getting ridiculous. Alright, apparently rune hatchet is totally not on their drop table, so I'm just gonna kill myself right now. Come on, steel dragon, just hit. You got 9 seconds to hit, Mr. Steel Dragon. Oh, 5, 4, 3, 2, no, screw it. <laughs> ah, that was close. Ah, that was stressful. Okay. Stupid steel drive. Never hit when you want him to. <laughs> so, but, um, anyway. Uh, yeah, so, this is gonna be last kill. Um, last kill until I just call it a night and then try to get, get the, uh, rune hatchet tomorrow, cause, yeah. This has been ridiculous. Just look at my inventory. And look at my cash stack. Like, that's just, like, all from killing steel dragons here. And, Take these, uh, divide the total charms by three, and that's the minimum uh, steel dragons I've killed, like, in this trip alone. I've done three trips, so this rune hatchet is either, is either like super rare or it's non-existent at this point. Like, what is going on? Why am I not getting the the rune hatchet? So I'm gonna call it a night and come back tomorrow, where hopefully I have better luck. <laughs> Ugh, alright, finished my daily challenge in the agility arena, which would have been nice to have yesterday when I was going for my rare galley for my crafting potion. But oh well, this is day two of week three, and um, yeah, just doing this challenge real quick, and then I'll go probably back to steel dragons. Okay, okay, come on now, dragon plate legs and a dragon plate skirt before a rune hatchet drop. What is going on here? The, these are, like, way more rare than a freaking... 
Is the rune hatchet on these guys' drop table? Yes! Oh, finally, rune hatchet! I can move on with my life. Oh my god, finally. <laughs> Just look at this. Got a dragon plate legs, dragon plate skirt, and so many alkables. I Yeah, if I alk these two rune limbs, I have over a mil cash stack now. So I can move on with the clue. Finally! I'm not going to add this to tool belt yet. I'm going to wait till I have a second one so I can actually do clues. And I can always just equip it when I'm doing woodcutting. So, let's finish the clue. You have got to be kidding me. Amulet of Glory. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, that's a toughie. Come on, I had to get a freaking rune hatchet. What is this? So I'm going to need either 80 crafting or like 83 hunter for dragon implings in order to get an amulet of glory, so that's going to take quite a while either way. But I'll get it eventually. I mean, hunter's not that slow, right? I'll probably work on hunter a lot now that that's a goal. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get uh, some... just going to do some slayer, get my uh, defense up to 60 so I can show off my dragon legs. And then I'm going to do a ton of divination, which should get my hunter up a bit, so I can uh, decrease my fail rate. Ooh, Trollbone. Got that for the wish list, I think. <laughs> or whatever. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do some slayer, get my defense up, wear the dragon legs, so I can do a divination, and show off that stuff, I guess. <laughs> and then, uh, and then after I get divination to 70, I'll probably do a ton of hunter, just to try to get to the 83, so I can catch those dragon implings and get me a dragon amulet or an Amulet of Glory, and finish the clue. So that's a little, pretty much a long-term goal, but Hunter's fast, so it shouldn't take too long, right? Alright, 60 defense. I'm gonna finish off this uh, task, and then go Divination. Basilisk, he Basilisk Head, I guess, uh, gets me a Golden Beam. Eh. <laughs> I look like such a pro, look at that. Dragon legs, rune plate body, helm of neat snout. Looked like a, looked like a regular noob, not an Iron Man account. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, I'm here at this level 60 divination spot, which is so much better than level 51. And I'll just get my boon, and then I can start using enha enhanced experience, and then I'll just get to 70, I guess, and then get whatever hunter level I get from that from the chronicles, and then get like 83 hunter, like crazy. So. Ugh, gonna be a lot of grinding, but it's nice and AFK. Shield of Arav done, thanks to one of my alternate accounts. Smigolo has the username I wanted for this account, but uh, didn't realize an Iron Man mode was coming out, so I made a noob because I was bored, and I should have, you know, stuck with that username because I wanted it. Anyway, I'm going to do Hero's Quest now. Yeah, here we go, Hero's Quest done, and wow, it's a lot of XP. Give me those... Uh, Attack level? Okay, and range level. So, pretty awesome, and during that twest, uh, quest... <laughs> twest, what? I uh, did, like, pretty much the last trade I'll ever have to do on this account for the uh, Pete's candlestick and whatnot. So, no more trading for the entirety of this account until I run out of bonds, which is still not going to be for a while, because just look at the, look at all these. <laughs> like, I got, like, 20 bonds total. I used, like, four so far. So yeah, I still got a lot of bonds left for membership on this count. Hopefully I don't die and lose them all. So, alright, time for Throne of Miscellanea. Now I have all the requirements, so let's do it and start Kingdom stuff. Alright, basically at the point of the quest that I need 75% approval rating should take a bit, but uh, that means I'm basically done, done with the quest and almost to uh, setting up my Miscellanea, which is going to be an awesome source of resources and, and everything, so... Almost there. There we go. King Throne of Miscellanea quest done. I'm gonna do the uh, Royal Trouble right away now, but first I gotta uh, manage stuff. So yeah, uh, Royal Trouble next. There we go. Royal Trouble done. Giving those 20k coins. Do I get any levels? Ooh, Slayer level. Nice. And Agility. Alright. So with that, my uh, miscellaneous should be a bit more efficient. I'm lagging like crazy, but um, I put 900k into my uh, kingdom for now. It should last for a few days, and I'll make sure to keep coming back and keep the approval rating at 100%. And it, wow, that was ridiculously long lag, weird. All right, 
So I think I have a bit more idle here. I'm going to put these on herbs. Wood I want for fletching, fire making. I want the uh, nests for brews eventually, and of course for the uh, tree seeds. So yeah, it's going to be awesome to be able to, be able to collect all this uh, every once in a while, get a bunch of much needed resources. So for now, I think I'll go back to divination and uh, maybe finish off 70 so I can go hunter and try to get that 83 hunter for dragon nipplings. Well, that was pretty awesome. I did the uh, new Divination D&D &D thingy. It came out like uh, yesterday as of this recording and got like 13k Divination XP from the minigame itself and then I can have a 10% chance of con converting all the memories in my inventory in one go, which I just did actually on my first uh, full inventory after the minigame. You just throw this huge ball of memory into the rift and then you're done with the inventory. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, I'll probably be uh, doing that mini games every time I see it. It's pretty awesome. Nice XP boost and whatnot. I didn't even get the max points at all, so yeah, it's pretty awesome. I had 65 divination. I think that's good for tonight. I gotta go to bed. So we'll stop here and uh, do more divination tomorrow. All right, 68 divination which means I'm 10 levels off the sign of life, which is going <laughs> to let me do a bunch of risky stuff, because if I, uh, like, say if I wanted to do QBD, I'd just carry the sign of life with me, and if th it activates, instead of dying, I can tell you away and make sure that I'm always, you know, insured with, this, with the uh, sign of life. So that's what I'm going for eventually, but not, you know, too soon, because it takes, <laughs> divination takes forever. This took me, like, all morning to get from, like, 65 to 68, so I'll probably get 70 maybe today, and then go straight to Hunter, because 70 is, yeah. <laughs> After 70, I'll probably be really tired of this, so yeah, let's just uh, quickly get to 70. Oh, that's painful to see. Dragon Impling here at the Divination Spot. Dang it! This should just about do it, and 70 Divination. Alright, so yeah, that's out of the way can go do lustrous root uh, stuff. I think that's at Canifus or something. And my daily challenge is for super attack potions. That's at level 45, but the herb itself that I have to use for super attack? Oh, it's Aerit. Ah, I'm stupid. Okay, <laughs> so I can do that. thought it was a Vanto that I needed for super attack, which confused me. But okay, I can do that. Let's do it. Alright, see how much XP I get. 20k Airblower XP, holy oh, crap, they gave me three levels, that's ridiculous. Oh, these daily challenges are pretty awesome. Evento, I can finally clean all my Eventos. And what do we get in the mystery bag? A Dwarfweed. <laughs> pretty wimpy, but oh uh, well, it's a herb. So what I'm gonna do, gonna, gonna do now for my daily um, divine patches is Herbler Patch 2, which is a, uh, <laughs> yeah, Cost 20 irits, I'm not sure if that's worth it right now, but let's just see how much I get from it. Uh, this one, yeah, four times faster, that's going to be pretty uh, devastating to my daily limit, but let's just see if I can get a full inventory off of it. So long as I get can get like, I don't know, 15 irits back from the Divine Herb Patch 2, then it might be worth it, but if I don't get enough irits back, I might consider not using, but look at all this farming XP. It's quite a lot of farming XP, especially at my level, so yeah, I'm gonna, gonna like doing this as a daily. Oh, full inventory, full inventory. Ah, oh, yes, barely, full full inventory, and I, get, and I get all these herbs as well. The Wergali, that was a pain to get for my crafting potion, and it's no longer a problem. But uh, now I think I'll go do this stuff, clean my aventos, and do awesome stuff now. Alright, let's collect my first uh, bounty from Kingdom. Give me all that stoof. What do we got? So this is from one day, and wow, almost a thousand maple log from one day. All those bird's nests. So many herbs, this is gonna slowly add up and really accumulate. So that's amazing to have every friggin' day. And I'll make sure to come back here and, um, you know, make sure I have over 75k in the coffers consistently and 100% uh, approval rating or whatever it is. So uh, for now, I think I'm going to call it a day, though. I had a really busy day uh, making the spoof documentary for the Lester Bros channel. But uh, tomorrow I should be freed up to do a ton of Hunter. So 
Definitely looking forward to that grinding. Alright, just got uh, 56 fletching. I'm just uh, using all these maples I got from Miscellanea, which is awesome. Give me a ton of these logs. So, uh, yeah, just a couple more levels until I can make a Bovis Stranger wand and staff, I guess. <laughs> I might want to make a catalytic staff. Well, probably wand, really. But, um,. Yeah, this is the day day four, I think, and I'll be doing a lot of Hunter today. But for now, I'm probably just going to take a nap, because I didn't get enough sleep last night. Alright, so I'm here at the Falconry place, where I'm going to be training my hunt Hunter until 59, at which point I'll move to Orange Salamanders. I'm pretty sure this is the fastest way up to level 50, 59 in terms of Hunter XP, but I'm not entirely sure, but eh, it's fast. And on the way, I'll get uh, to the hunter level, I can catch these dark cabots and get me the uh, Gloves of Silence, which will help with thieving a bit. And I guess this will also give me some prayer XP, because I'm using the Bone Crusher, nice and easy. Keep, keep my inventory free of the bones as well, which is really convenient. So, gonna do this for a long time. Boom! 5900, that did not take as long as I thought it would, so that's awesome. Now I can, make, I can uh, go catch red salamanders, which are probably the best XP at this point. So, uh, I can make my Gloves of Silence any time now, and let's move on to the better Hunter spot. Alright, just doing a quick Maple Shield Bow Daily Challenge, which should get me to 58 Fletching when I actually turn in the challenge. So that would be awesome, then I can make my Bova Stranger Wand in, in uh, Dungeoneering, I think. <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's good or not, but you know, it's a thing to get. What was I going to say? Uh, well, yeah, the goal for this weekend, I think, is to beat the fight caves, or at least attempt to. So that's my goal for the weekend. Um, I might also, I'll still be working on Hunter a lot, but yeah, fight caves. Lego. Holy crap, that gave me 60k fletching XP. Wow, that's like, I'm almost at 60. I'm basically at 60. I'll probably get that real quick off of the remaining shield bows I have. And challenge mystery back 72. Magical. That's really good. Jeez. These daily challenges are so OP sometimes. Alright, here we are at the red salamanders. These are nice and uh, quick XP, I think. I'm pretty sure this is what I did to like 80 or something hunter when I did it on my main way long ago. But, uh, should be nice and quick. 272 XP per catch. So I should be able to catch at least one per three uh, cabots that I would have caught in at the, whatchamacallit, the, the falconry. So hopefully it's faster. I'm not entirely sure, but anyway, let's uh, keep going. Well, that's 63 Hunter, uh, Red Chinchapa, I guess. <laughs> I'm debating whether or not I should catch those or not, because I don't really want to use them for anything. I'm pretty sure this is faster XP. I'm not entirely sure, though. But uh, anyway, I'm going to keep doing this for a while, I guess, And uh, but uh, for now, I have to go to bed. Did not do that much today. It was very uh, distracted, I guess. And at this point, I'm doing a lot of uh, grinding, like a particular skill, so it's going to be hard to um, do more clips, so I'll probably go for lengthier clips in the future when I'm, you know, eventually grind grinding out skills and whatnot. I'm going to have to talk more, which is actually a good thing, to be honest, because I... <laughs> Uh, all this, th these uh, first three episodes have about, uh, been, uh, you gotta keep going, keep going really fast, because the, the, if I don't, you know, end the clip for it really fast, uh, the episode's gonna be like five hours long, so I uh, should probably end the clip now. So yeah, I'm done for today. Gonna do more Hunter tomorrow. Ah, oh, I totally missed it. I just hit 70 Hunter, and now I can go to the, uh, common jadinkos in the herblore habitat which I'm pretty sure is uh, faster than this in terms of XP and I can work on getting stuff from the herblore habitat that'll help later like juju farming and mining potions and of course eventually draconic jadinkos so I'm gonna do a bunch of dailies first and then head over to herblore habitat to get to probably 80 and then I'll go do uh, draconic jadinkos so, done with these stupid salamanders. These are so annoying to release. You have to right click all the way down to release because you can't put them in the action bar because that's a wield. So, get out of here. Meh. Meh. Alright, I want 60 attack before I, before I try the uh, fight cave so I can use dragon weapons on the rangers. 
And uh, so yeah, I'm doing a bit of Slayer. I have a Blood Veld's task, and they're weak to range, so hopefully I can hit them with melee, but if they're weak to range, it means they're strongest against melee, so that's gonna be kinda iffy. We'll see, I might have to switch to mage for this task, but anyway, let's uh, hopefully kill a bunch of Ed Blood Veld's. All right, 60 attack, I can use dragon weapons. Um, I'm tempted to finish this task before I go back, go to get some dragon weapons because um, what I have to do, these used to be aggressive. I had to sit uh, at the top of this ladder for like five minutes and wait for them to get unaggressive. Really uh, annoying, but I'm not sure if there's any other way to kill Dagoniths without uh, them being all aggressive and whatnot, but I'm also not hitting very well on these, so I'll probably, yeah, go get my dragon weapons and probably go back to Hunter or something. Oh, well. Fight caves time, cause why not? Yeah, no, not gonna happen. <laughs> Even this, these rangers are so beefed. Like, this is nowhere near how easy it used to be. So I'm gonna wait till I have a few chaotics to actually go about this fight caves for realsies. Cause that would just take forever if I wanted to like keep like regenerating all the HP and whatnot. So not worth my time and my resources at this point. So I'm gonna hold off on the fight caves until chaotics. Cause why not beef the fight caves like a million times? So it turns out I need like 54 farming to plant a, a like a plant to in order to uh, catch the common jidingos. So before I continue with Hunter, I have to get a bunch of farming levels, and uh, I think 49 farming is also required for uh, Fairy Tale Part 2, and then 54 is required for Fairy Tale Part 3, which gives me a magic watering can, so there's 48. So yeah, I'm going to be trying to actually do farming for uh, for as long as I can until 54, because that unlocks a bunch of stuff, so ugh, farming! Alright, this should get me 50 construction. Sweet. I can use the, uh, the best slave, I guess. And I get, like, I can unlock a couple quests and so much unlocked. Ah. But yeah, 50 construction unlocks a lot of stuff and I can get the demon butler and whatever. And it's another 50 skill, so yeah, it's always cool. And there's no tree there. I thought there was a tree. But yeah, I'm still working on my, th my farming. Getting that up slow and steady, trying to focus on it more than I used to though, because I really wanted to get it up to 54 so I can actually do more Hunter. Uh, but for now, and for tomorrow actually, uh, I'm, I'm going to bed now, but for tomorrow I'm going to do more Slayer, and then, you know, do farm runs in between Slayer's stuff, so. Yeah, Slay and Farm, have fun. <laughs> oh, I missed it, I was Snapchatting. <laughs> Uh, I got 62 wood cutting, um, and with that I got 1,500 total, so there's that milestone, I guess, pretty cool. Chopping oak so that I can make uh, some planks for construction, because I need to get that up for, I forget what, but it's something. Oh yeah, like 56 I need to make something for Herbal or Habitat. Uh, I already paid uh, to pop up whatever his face is to make one in the center, and I realized I didn't need to, and it was really expensive, so I feel stupid. But anyway, I'm gonna try to get my construction up. I got tons of oak logs, and I'm also burning maple logs as I do this for fire making XP. You know, getting that up for some reason. <laughs> Eventually, I'll want the Inferno Adzi and whatnot. Alright, so oh yeah, welcome to day f six of week three. <laughs> I'm losing track already. But uh, yeah, I'm probably, probably gonna end up, uh, while I'm farming, doing a bunch of Slayer and whatnot, so. Ugh, so fun. I got 49 air blower and farming, so now I can do Fairy Tale Part 2 in its entirety, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Wait, is it higher herb lore for the quest? I forgot. Uh, Fairy Tale Part 2. Ah, it doesn't say. Yeah, it's 57 herb lore. That's, uh. Ugh. <laughs> Gonna have to do lots of herbs and stuff. Oh boy. Well, I got a ton of taramins. I, I need to collect limperate roots to uh, use, so I'll probably do that now. Alright, I did the uh, hard mode troll invasion thingy, super easy. All these trolls are like so low level, and I'm gonna use my bone crusher this time, so I didn't have to bury them one by one. Let's put this on herb lore, hopefully I get a few levels? A mm, couple levels. It helps. <laughs> Just a bit closer. I'm gonna get like 55, and then use something like a green man's ale, 
to uh, boost the last couple levels to 57 to do the quest, because I think I can do that, so... Ugh, a lot of herbal left to do, though, to actually do the stupid fairy tale quest. <laughs> well, that's 50 uh, farming and dungeonering. I'm just, uh... <laughs> it's kind of cool to be able to farm a little bit of extra XP in dungeonering while you're waiting for crops to grow and whatnot. So, yeah, that's so what I did. Got 50, I guess. Yay! So... Uh, yeah, I still need like uh, four more herbler levels before I can do for it fairy tale part two. So, ugh, stupid herbler so hard in Iron Man mode. Alright, that's this stupid um, infernal mage task done. That took forever because my range is extremely low, and I kind of did it with range because I want to get my ranged up. And I, yeah, I'm using a maple short bow because it takes 65 fletching to to make a uh, U short bow, which is at level 40. It doesn't make any sense. The level 40 bow, you have to have 65 fletching to get. Ugh, drove me nuts. But uh, give me this combat XP. Don't care that much about the coins. Probably put this on range because it's so slow to get up at this level. Boom, level 47. Sweet. Got seven levels off of one uh, ta slayer task. Alright, let's uh, get another Slayer task. Got uh, Shal Chaldor's whatever faces um, special task of the uh, testing experimental spray on the Zygomites. <laughs> the same task that after I got uh, uh, the, the Slayer level to actually kill these guys. So yeah, it's got pretty nice rewards for a Slayer task, especially yeah for the uh, special Slayer task. And it's super easy too, so yeah, let's do it. Forgot to uh, record like the end of yesterday and whatever, but eh, whatever. I'm just here at uh, Fungal Mages, not on a Slayer task, just killing these for Mage XP and all their ridiculously good drops. So yeah, just like especially for the herbs and the prayer urns and all this junk. And uh, I kind of want to get to 75 Mage so I can get a Tokal Zo. I think that's the only requirement I need for that ring, which is like awesome because it gives you like a free teleport right to the bank and fairy ring and all that good stuff. So, yeah, gonna try to get that ring soon. I'm probably gonna do smoking kills today uh, for that. Uh, what, what does smoking kills give you? Like good Slayer XP maybe? <laughs> and of course, uh, the Slayer helmet. As soon as I get enough points for that, that'll be awesome to get. Give me that. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do. <laughs> couple quests to be able to get the cave horrors and get that uh, black mask drop. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long, but oh well. The Slayer helmet's gonna be awesome to do, gonna be awesome to use on Slayer tax tasks and whatnot. So yeah, smoking kills today. I really hate the Dagoneth's task. I basically have to sit up here for however long it takes to uh, make them ignore me. Because up here you're in their zone or whatever, so if you stay up here long enough they just ignore you. But if you go down when they aren't ignoring you, they all just kind of like fire at you and do a lot of damage, which I can't take <laughs> uh, very easily. So I just wait until they all ignore me. It was really annoying. But um, yeah, eventually they start ignoring me and then it's super easy. But anyway, um, I should probably mention that if you see my stats like gradually go up over time, it's because I'm just doing random skilling without really recording stuff because that's what I like to do sometimes. So yeah, my total level's creeping up there. It's getting... Pretty high now, 15.30, not bad. And, uh, go away. <laughs> Ugh. So yeah, uh, this is gonna take a while. So this guy's probably about to die. <laughs> oh, oh, he's eating. I don't think he knows what he's doing. I think, he's, he's, I think he's in legacy mode and he's trying to cannon these like in the old days. Uh, that's kinda cute. We'll see what happens. Oh, that was beautiful, 122. Tears of Guthix, give me all that summoning XP, 21k, got me to 42, holy crap, awesome, it's still my lowest skill, so that's good, I can do this again next week, but uh, yeah, I just got six more summoning levels, Tears of Guthix is still awesome. Getting pretty close to finishing my second statue here, almost to the uh, head, maybe like three more, I don't know, but 52 Herblore, nice super energy. Might be able to make some of those, but uh, yeah, I just, uh, I think I need like probably 56 Herblore until I can just uh, drink a Green Man's Ale to boost to Fairy Tale Part 2. So, ugh, still a while away, but getting there. I realized I have like 11 Penguin points I can spend, so let's see how many Herblore levels I can get with 11. 
XP, Herb Lord, probably not gonna be too much. 14k? Ah, I got me a level, sweet. <laughs> uh, just uh, like three more until I can uh, easily boost to the or stupid um, 57 for Fairy Tail Part 2. And I did realize that for planting stuff to make to have Jedinkos show up in a uh, Herblor habitat, I, ju I can probably just make a garden pie and boost uh, the plus three levels with that. So I'll probably do that uh, soon. I'll probably do smoking kills right, right, that right now, though. So yeah, smoking kills time. Time to fight the mistress, and I forgot an emergency emergency teleport. <laughs> this ought to be uh, interesting. Eh, not too bad. I'm alive. And only ate two food, so not bad at all. Sweet. Smoking kills done. 5k slay XP. Level level 60. Awesome. Do I un unlock anything? Nose peg. <laughs> Great. Have our inspectors. Ooh, those are those aren't bad. They're pretty good. All right. So how many points do I have right now? 118. I need 400 for the um to be able to make a Slayer helm. Yeah. Learn. So I have 400 points. That's going to take a while. Oh well. Uh, and I also need to get a uh, black mask drop from Cave Horrors, which is going to take a few quests. But for now, I think I'm done for the week. So next week I should uh, be doing a lot of Slayer and questing for those things. And hopefully I'll be able to get to a high enough Herbler level to do Fairy Tale Part 2. And then, of course, the... Uh, what else was I going for? Uh, what was I going for? Going for Hunter. Oh yeah, and that's why I need... Needed something... Oh yeah, 50, 54 farming. So yeah, I'll probably, hopefully, get 80, 83 Hunter um, next week somehow. So yeah, next week, a lot of stuff. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, see you next week!